Okay, so when you open up the Guys and Guns project, you are going to be met with the uh, main timeline here, which is going to have a few color preset controllers, uh, lens grind mixer, along with your grains, and then you're going to see the Guys and Guns uh, comp here. So if you double click on this comp right here, it's going to take you into the uh, main project timeline where you'll have all your color presets, all your film controls, and then of course uh, your grains and your flickers, and then your scratch mat. So again, same as all the other projects, uh, hopefully this should be very familiar when you reach this point. To add your video, um, you're going to see that you want a point where to know when the video is going to go into freeze frame action. And everything's going to be, be marked for you. So in this case, uh, we have shot one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are all built the same. So if I just go into uh, shot number two for a second and I double click, and then you're going to have your text pre comp and your uh, video and your video or photo drop folder. I'm just showing you specifically when this freeze frame action occurs. Okay, so it's going to be marked right here. So that way you have an idea. So if you're going to add your video, you're going to want to double click right here where it says video photo drop box. This is going to be the moment you want to decide uh, at what point your video freezes. Okay, so you want to pay attention to that marker. So if I just get my uh, footage here, I'm just going to place it on top. And let me double click and just make some in and out points. This is actually just really cheesy. No, it's really great student film footage it's kind of a, a, a know-all be-all the moment you started getting into movies and film uh you had to have guns it's just you know ask any film student you know doing a film student film gotta have guns in it gotta have shooting gotta have violence you know no story just point the gun at the the, the camera and uh it's cool and we actually got some real guns here and you know, back then we weren't using After Effects and uh, there was no After Effects at our beck and call. We didn't even know what After Effects was. So I think about how we were just kept trying to get these blanks to shoot some fire out. And we would spend hours just simply trying to get a, a moment where it fires. We didn't have action mats in my days. If you wanted fire, you had to make it yourself. So I'm just going to make an endpoint here because I want this uh, shot to start about right about there. So if I go back into my main timeline, I'm going to certainly have to scale this down because it's rather too big. And just for the sake of this, I'll just pop it down right there. Okay, so if I just play this really quick. We can see at which point this freeze frame is going to occur. So let's just say for the sake of argument, I want it to end at this point here. If I go back to shot two, we're actually at the point where this explosion occurs. And our mat set in. So boom, this is where it ends. So that wouldn't make too much sense. We probably want to just line up our uh, point right here and just adjust the moment we want to freeze. So certainly I think when his uh, gun fires is the, uh, the one take we did get. So in this case he fires a gun I want to actually get it right at the moment the frame before it so it probably right there is going to work because that explosion kind of kicks in uh, maybe not yeah maybe i'll do it right there never mind so if i go back boom Okay, so very simple. Keep that freeze frame point in mind, and that's all you really have to be aware of when you're lining up that moment of the action moving into a, a freeze frame mode and and uh, the designs of the ink and blood and all that kind of kicking in. And lastly, you probably just want to change your text, of course. So all you got to do is you're going to see a text comp right here. You can double click and just change your 
text however you see fit. It's a real movie, actually. And it's as 